the motto of this year's CyberSec is dealing with cyber disruption. What does it mean to you? Well, I, I think that we're seeing cyber disruption almost every day in our lives, whether it's um, the businesses that are being knocked on flying because of malware or um, the different things that are affecting us in our personal lives or our professional lives. So d cyber disruption to me is, is a, something that's a constant and we need to start to build in resilience into our core of our society. Speaking from the perspective of the former advisor to US, pre US presidents, what are the key challenges to a new American administration uh, is facing in the field of the cyber security? Well, Maya, I wrote a, um, an actual op opinion piece for President Trump right after he was elected, and I started to talk about what are the key things that the United States really has to address. And um, part of it is we have to address the core of the critical infrastructures. And we've defined so many, now 16, that we really need to focus on the vulnerabilities of the few, starting with energy and the power grid. And we need to make sure that it's going to be resilient. We can't afford to have a disruption to our power grid like has been seen in Ukraine. The second, we need to ensure that our telecommunication system is strong because the telecommunication is the free flow of goods, services, data, and capital across borders. But now more and more, we're starting to see a disruption of our core telecommunication system, and it's knocking online businesses offline and offline businesses offline, which is causing a, a fair amount of disruption in the United States. And then finally, I think that the administration really must focus on financial services industry, as again, it's the free flow of capital across borders. And more and more we're seeing um, what you see, either an ATM heist or the vulnerabilities of the banks being exploited and real money being stolen. And we can't afford to have a 21st century digital robbery. We need to actually ensure the resilience of our financial systems. What you are talking here in Poland, uh, it's not connected only to governments, right? It's, only, it's also for common people, right? That's right. But I, um, I think it's not only just the common person that it's affecting their daily lives, but it's actually more importantly the businesses that then affect the common lives of people. Um, we've seen uh, the WannaCry virus that actually released in uh, the May of this year, and it knocked hospitals offline. It was knocked core businesses offline, and if I can't get health care, that affects me as a citizen. In June of this year, we saw another very destructive malware called NotPetya, um, and, then, and that affected core businesses around the world, one of which was Federal Express in this region. Federal Express is actually no longer able to deliver packages. That could be your birthday present from your sister or uh, you know, the next uh, great book that you want to read at home. And that, again, it affects citizens. Uh, and we have a number of those key corporations that have been knocked offline that, uh, again, affects me as a common citizen. And that is all attributable to our cyber insecurity. What actions need to be undertaken in order to improve cybersecurity of the Internet of Things? Well, I think of the Internet of Things as really either the insecurity of things or the Internet of Threats. And we really have to actually start to address that we need well-engineered products in the market that are not easily hijacked and then turned into an agent of harm. And more and more, our Internet of Things is uh, not being held to a standard. Anybody is a software coder. It's got a hard-coded administrative password so I can easily break in, hijack it, and, ha and use it for harm. So the Internet of Things is really we need to start to build resilience into these, have better engineered products, and start to define what it is that we want to co touch the core of our society. And if it's going to be running the backbone of our key infrastructures like our energy grid, our transportation systems, etc. It has to be well engineered because if it's not, then I'm going to easily be able to break it offline. I wanted to ask you about, because we are in Krakow and it's, uh, the, the conference just started, but I wanted to ask you about the organization of that event. What do you think? What's your opinion? Well, I think the Institute has done an amazing job. Um, you know, this is one of the must-attend conferences in Europe, and this is my second time attending. Uh, Krakow is a beautiful city to host it. It's one of my favorite cities in, uh, actually, in Eastern Europe. Um, and I arrived early and I'm staying late and, uh, because I want to still see more of the sightseeing around here. But more importantly, while I'm here at the conference, you have key EU officials, you have NATO officials, you have, you have uh, Polish government officials, you have world-renowned experts from everywhere that all came here to Krakow and, and uh, more than a thousand people. And I come here because not only do I think that my voice can have impact, but many of the voices that have come to assemble in unison can actually start to convince our governments that we have something to do and should do about uh, cybersecurity.